for me, starting running like two and a bit years ago, as soon as I decided that I wanted to do it properly, racing 100 miles is something that you've got to do. It's something that you've got to be prepared to do, no matter how hard you think it's going to be. And I think my mentality going into race, going into any race, is right. I want the race to have a little bit more about itself than just being a hundred mile race or just being a hundred kilometer race. So for me, the big hitters, whether it's CCC at UTMB or it's Ivor Ultra Trail, it's these big names. So when I decided that, right, I want to do a hundred mile race, for me, there wasn't really a, there wasn't really a question. I'm going to do Western States as my first hundred mile. I'm just looking forward to the whole the whole experience, but then also getting the line up. It's my first, yeah, first hundred miler, second race in the US. Getting the line up against such an incredibly talented group of athletes um, that a lot of them I've never raced before. So uh, yeah, I'm just really looking forward to, to the whole thing. further than I have ever run before, which is pretty daunting for someone who's only been running for two years. Uh, I, I reckon on the start line, I'm probably the person who's run the least amount of ultra marathons. Or maybe least miles. Yeah, and the least miles. <laughs> in races, 100% in races, and probably, I think this is my sixth. When the gun goes off, you know you're going to climb, and the climb is going to last anywhere between 50 minutes and an hour, depending on the conditions. Um, there was still quite a lot of snow in school at this point, so we probably did the first three and a half miles before hitting the snow, um, and I was prepared for the snow. I knew it was going to happen. Um, so that then played a role in my shoe choice, making sure that I had a shoes with a bit more grip on them. And yeah, we had, before the top of the escarpment, another 
three or four miles in the snow. Um, my sort of word for the day, certainly at this point, was patience. And I knew that in order to achieve what I wanted to achieve, having never done a hundred miler, was to be patient. These races are so long, opportunities will present themselves, mistakes will be made by myself and then also the other runners. So being patient and seeing these opportunities arise and then taking those opportunities was my game, was my game plan from the gun. Um, and that's something that I'd spoken with Alison before the race and something that we'll continue to do for the remainder of my, my ultra running career. Sweet, thank you. Feeling good. Yeah. Legs feel great. Uh, super controlled, being very patient. Good man. Uh, so uh, Jim is 12, 13 minutes out. Yeah. And Hazen was effectively five minutes behind him. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Any, any food? Where's the bottles of here, sir? Yep. This is fresh. And did they Hold stop on. here? No, they didn't. They ran through. Uh, he stopped. Uh, Jim stopped to change his top. Yeah. Didn't change his shoes. Yeah. So to get there and to to see those friendly faces smile at you, sort of saying well done, and to give you like a little bit of an update of what's going on in front of you in the race, is really important. And yes, ultra running and running is an individual sport. I'm the one on the day who's got to do the running, but you couldn't do it without without the support there, you'd never reach your potential. And I think that's something really special that I've got around me is this group, it's probably the best way to describe them, of crazy people that believe in what I'm doing and make a difference from me being a good runner to being a very good runner. And that's something that I couldn't do without the support from from those around. Excellent yeah. Long, long way to go. Yeah, the process, process, yes, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Anything you need? Yeah. 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 So yeah, so I left Robinson flat and the plan was the same. Stay really patient, keep digging in, keep it nice and easy, nice and relaxed, knowing that, in my opinion, the hardest part of the race was in that stage, which is the canyons. Two big descents, followed by two big climbs, hottest part of the day, on the hottest part of the course. Going into that relaxed and running relaxed is, yeah, is, is key. And in order to be able to keep pushing later on in the race, come 70, 80, 90 miles, controlling myself in that area of the race is so important. Nice and easy. Super chilled. Super chilled. Hope. Concentrate, Bakari. Week of Bakari. At the end of the second climb, coming out of the canyons of Devil's Thumb, you know that you've got. You know that you then got an aid station. So the second time that I was going to see the crew, um, and you, after that, you've then just got a short, short one to the halfway point. So actually, at uh, yeah, the checkpoints at fifty-five in a little bit miles, it's a great place to sort of reflect and be like, right, actually, this is 
We're 55 miles into the race. Like we've broken the back of the course. I knew the sections from there till the finish. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's now time to still be patient, but start to take a couple more risks. So, uh, so uh, two more to move through. Yeah. Now. Minutes. Not worried about Jim. Yeah. So uh, Daniel has literally just gone step two and a half minutes here. He's literally just gone. Yeah. 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 Jano, how do? We got a uh, bandana as well. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. For me, having Charlie was more than just someone to pace it's it's a companion on the trailers he's a friend someone that like we were chatting like we were talking should I change yes or no uh no yeah okay, what's up? on the leg Pakari, strong or light? Good. No, you want Pakari? Uh, sorry, can you just swap these two bottles yeah. for those two? These bottles are so much better. There's that, that one. Do you want to swap it over? Uh, Maya? Yeah. Yeah, can you just pour this into yeah. that yeah, yeah. and then the other one as well? That'd be amazing. Thank you. You want to have lower back done? Uh, no, yeah. just that, it's good. Thank you. Do another one. Yeah. You okay? Yeah. Coming into Forest Hill with Charlie, like it's it's a fast area. As I was coming into the checkpoint, saw Matt Daniels, who was in third place then. Um, and yeah, that was the, the first time I'd seen him since he got away in the earlier part of the race. And after seeing Matt, I still knew I had to be patient because it's still a long way in the race. But it was at that point that I was like, right, now it's time I've seen him. He's well and truly in my sights. Like, yeah, it's definitely not time to risk everything and put it all out there. But yeah, a bit of pushing at that point is is what's needed. <laughs> Got to represent, haven't we? <laughs> I think I've got like, if you want to be <laughs> no, absolutely not. I'll give you a high five though. <laughs> Look out, man. Sorry. <laughs> yep, one done. Other way. Are you good? There you go. That's fine, I'll do it on it. Okay, you good? Yeah, uh, I'll love everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's a good one. Yeah, take it, take it. See you, mate. You good? Feels like that's right. Feels like that's right. No, I'm good. Yeah, fine. No solid food, no change of glasses. That's good. Cheers, At this point, the process really kicks in and maybe 10, 15 minutes after leaving the road onto the trail, so we've caught up with Matt Daniels um, and just brushed past him, breezed past him, felt really strong at this point, opened my stride up a bit, wanted to drop in and make sure they didn't sort of come back on. Um, and yeah, that was, the last, that was the last time I saw him and this now sort of put me into third place. Good job, good job. Come on, boys. And if you want to jump in some water, it's on this side. Cool, that's fine. 
Do you know how far behind the next is? Okay, cool. No, we don't. You were five minutes at the last checkpoint. Well, we were five minutes ahead. You were five minutes ahead at the last checkpoint. Yeah. Okay, great. We'd have put a bit of time on there. Okay, cool. One hand held. Uh, wait, uh, eyes bandana. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll do the water. I'll do the water. Okay, good, clear. 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 I'll do the water. Come on! You put a lot of pressure on yourself to get that podium finish. And so you're almost running, yes, I'm still looking forward to the runners in front of me, but I'm also far more aware of what's going on behind me. Um, and you do get a little bit paranoid in these races. You don't, you think, right, am I going quick enough? Are just people going to gain on me? Are people going to catch me? And you've just really got to try and blitz that out of your mind and just genuinely just focus on the process. How much? You're half an hour behind Jared. Jared's on the Yeah, yeah, but you're behind me. 20 minutes. 18 minutes. Yeah, you're fine. 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 You look good. Dude. Thank you so much. Run fast. I've got 18 minutes. 18 minutes this is race time. This is everything that all the training that I've done at this point, this is where it's reflected. Yeah, this is where all of those tough decisions made this year, going to Ethiopia racing hard, training through injuries, getting their goals, all of that hard work from me and the team around me to put myself in this place where it is possible to finish on the podium. At this point, my watch is telling me that it thinks I'm gonna arrive in 15 hours and two minutes, and that's an incredible time, but at that point you start thinking like, right, how fast can I go? Can I go faster? And everything that you've put in to this race, it all boils down to the next two hours. It's how hard are you prepared to work? How much do you want it? And what are you prepared to do in order to get to it? And those things, yeah, they're going on in the back of your mind. Things are starting to hurt. You're trying to block those out. But yeah, this is where all the training that you've done is great, but actually this is where mental strength